Good morning and happy Saturday. It is a few minutes past when I was going to go live because I had to run downstairs and make myself a second cup of coffee because I'm still dragging from a little bit of jet lag, but it's definitely getting better every day. So hopefully you are starting your weekend off with something fun. And if not, hopefully this is something fun for you to join in and watch. Um, I'm Tanya and I am the business owner of Sweet Tea Stampin' Spot and I'm a Stampin' Up! Independent Demonstrator. I am going to do a catalog kickoff today. I have lots of samples to show you that I've done um, and some that I, most of them I've gotten through some swaps that I've done over the last couple weeks and I'll talk about that as I get to that. I'm also going to do a little catalog tour and those swaps will be shown throughout that tour and show you some of my favorites in the new catalog and show you some helpful hints and tips about things to look for in the catalog. Um, anyway, so happy Saturday morning. I'm gonna give it a minute for people to catch up and if you are here, let me know you're watching. Um, and if you're watching a replay, shout out to me as well. I'm uh, just gonna get going and um, talk about a few things before I flip the camera down so you're not gonna see me the whole time I'm just gonna pop on for a minute here to kind of get uh, the feed going and to see if I can see any comments to make sure I'm in the right spot some people might be looking for me at my community page so let me see if I can share it there real quick so people know um, where I'm at because a lot of my stampin buddies like to pop on to my community page and that's where I normally go live on Thursday nights but today I am um, here in my business page, which I haven't done a live here in a while. So hopefully um, you can find me. So like I said, I'm going to give it just another minute and I'm going to have a sip of my coffee. Because like I said, I've only had one cup today. I usually am a two cup girl. So I'm enjoying my second cup this morning. Well, it's hot because I usually drink it lukewarm because I've usually gotten distracted and forget to drink it. So, Okay, so I'm definitely seeing myself here and I am going to share it in one more spot um, in my workshop group. So I have a workshop group that I've started doing in April and I'm doing that once a month. Typically it'll be like the last Tuesday, so it's like the fourth Tuesday generally and um, that is like an hour-long online workshop so just kind of what it think what you think it might be so it's an hour long of me demonstrating about four projects um, and you have the opportunity to get those projects because um, if you place orders you can get those project packets and enjoy uh, making the cards when you're ready uh, and those you can earn through placing an order so I'm gonna share a little bit about that in a moment when I flip the camera down I'm just trying to make sure I have myself in all the places so that people know where to find me um all right so let me get my computer back to the spot I want it to be because when I turn my phone down I can never see comments because I'm short and my camera is too up too high for my hands down version so um, I like to be able to see the comments here on my feed so all right let's see the only problem is my computer monitor in front of me is super large and so my head looks very big uh, so when I flip it down it won't be so bad so I'm going to do like I said the first thing I'm gonna do is the catalog tour and um, along the way I'm gonna be sharing with you some helpful hints and things to look for in the catalog I'm gonna be sharing with you some of my favorites from the new catalog and of course this is as it's launching as more people um, share products and share samples um, things tend to become my favorites as the catalog moves on um, so I'm gonna be sharing those I'm also gonna be sharing swap samples and a couple things that I've made as well with new catalog product over the last month and a half or so because um, as a demonstrator we got our hands on these products early we get to get them about a month in advance that's one of the huge benefits of being a demonstrator is to Get your hands on the products before anybody else so um, I see somebody's watching so make sure you say hi and let me know you're watching um, I don't know 
I was trying to see what that was for. Let me see if I can do something real quick. And I also want to make sure the volume on my computer is silenced so that you guys don't hear bath feed. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's see. Good morning, Candy. Okay, so I see your comment there. Hopefully you're watching. A um, couple of you are watching, so hi. Thank you for joining me. So I was just going over what I'm going to do. And so a couple things, and then I'm going to flip the camera down. So um, lots of samples to show you along the way on the catalog tour, some helpful hints and tips, and then some of my favorites as well. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention is that... Um, I'm doing door prizes, so the way I'm going to do them, I'm not going to do them during the event today because it's too much for me to try and do that live. Um, I don't have the proper ways to do that on my computer. So, um, but if you, you have a couple ways to enter, and every time you do one of these things, you're going to get an entry. So that means the more of these you do, the more entries you get. So you can share this video or share this event, this Facebook Live, just share it on Facebook, share it with a friend, put, send it that way, and let me know you've shared it. If you tag someone for every person you tag in this video, and it could be another stamper, it could be another sweet tea stamper, it could be just someone random, one of your friends, Facebook friends, tag them in this video in the comments. Um, you'll get an entry for each person. Um, and then I also attached in the event details, and I'll post it again, a link to it when I'm done. Um, I have a Google form that I have for door prizes, and it's basically your name and email so that I can contact you if you win the door prize. Um, basically, I'm going to give away more than one. That's the other thing, is I'm going to give away more than one prize. So put in as many entries as you want, and I'll tell you what the door prize is in a minute, but fill out that Google form. That one you can only do one time, but it basically just gives me your name and email and there's a couple questions that are optional like do you need a catalog would you like to host your own own online workshop with me um, and something else but those questions are optional but the main questions are your name and email so if you do any or all of these for each one of these you do you're going to get your name into the door prize form so what is the door prize so the door prize is going to be an assortment of a brand new paper pack that's hostess exclusive or host exclusive. Um, and I'll show you that as we go through the catalog tour towards the back. Um, but you're gonna get an assortment pack of that paper. So it's a great way to get a sampling of that paper that only hosts for workshops can earn. Um, it's not something you can buy outright. Um, and it's a really fun pack of paper. I've got a couple samples with that have used that paper and I'll highlight that as we go along the catalog tour. So the other thing I want to mention before I flip down is that I do have an ordering special. Um, I started this ordering special on Tuesday with my online workshop and I'm continuing it through today's catalog launch and it ends on Monday. So Monday is the 31st of May. So your orders need to be in by then. Um, and when I flip down, I have a host code that's active and I'll show it to you, but it's going to be backwards. So when I flip down, you'll see it. But if you shop at tanyareed.stampinup.net and put in at least a $35 order, then um, that is going to be um, qualifying you for four card project packs and a new in color bookmark, which I have somewhere nearby. You're gonna get a new in color bookmark and four card project packs. You don't have to have the stamp sets that I used for those cards, but I've made them such that you'll have all the pieces and parts and you can incorporate any stamps, stamp images that you want on your card packets. Now, if you haven't stamped before and you don't have stamps, then I can help you with that as well. I have some, some things you could utilize for that. So that would be with a $35 order or more. If you do a $50 order or more between now and Monday night, then you're going to get the same thing, the four card packets, the free bookmark. And then also your choice of one of these two gems. And I will show you those up close in a moment, but you get a choice of these gems. There's two different gem types here that are great for any kind of card embellishment. So, hello, hello. I know a couple of people have popped on and off. So um, hopefully you are um, ready to go through the catalog with me. Hopefully if you have your catalog already, you're welcome to kind of flip along with me. 
Uh, every time I look at it, I see something new. I see a new card sample. I see a new tip or trick. Um, and I honestly probably have looked at it less than 10 times in full. I flipped to certain pages specifically, but to sit and look at it in full, I've probably done it less than 10 times so far. Um, you know, for those of us that love stamping up and love looking through the catalogs, 10 is not, not a huge number. <laughs> um, so as the year goes on, I'm sure I'll spend more time looking through it and as the next couple weeks too. So, all right, well, let me flip the phone down and get us started. Let me shift a couple things out of the way. So give me just a second. And I do have some notes here so that I don't lose too much track of what I'm doing. All right, so let me flip the phone down. And for those of you that know, I have, and watch me normally on Facebook Live, this is a new phone. So I'm a new phone holder, I should say. And the other night I basically shut it off. So, all right, so we're gonna flip it around and I'm gonna get a set up on the hands, hands view. So give me just a second, sorry about all the uh, shaking. And let me rotate a couple things here so I can get some better light on it. So this is the host code that I have and I will show you this throughout. I just wanna get everything lined up for the moment. And of course the star of this morning is the annual catalog. So let me shift a couple things around. So I will talk about the um, ordering special again once I get going. I think I'm a little bit crooked. That might have made it worse, but I don't know. Let's see, I'm trying to see in my camera. Mm -mm. So, again, I have multiple door prize opportunities. So, if you fill out my Google form, and I will um, share that link again in the top of this video. Once I'm done, and then you can also share this video, and you can also tag people in this video, and that will give you um, multiple chances to get in the door price drawing. Okay, so this is the host code that I'm using through Monday, and it's M4B9EVZD. I will also put a link to this in the top of this video, so if you're watching the replay, um, you can quickly access it and it's there'll be a link right to my website using this host code tanyareed.stampinup.net and again um, ordering specials start at $35 orders and then um, you also get a bonus gift at $50. All right so I'm going to move this out of the way because the catalog pretty much takes up the whole screen and I kind of want to just go through the same so as you can see I've tabbed some things and a blue tag for me <laughs> indicates that um, it is something that's a helpful hint or a tip in there that I wanted to share. And then the orange flag is a favorite of mine. The other thing that um, I'm gonna be sharing along the way are card samples. So they're not all mine, I will say for sure that many of them are cards that I got in a swap. I have done three swaps already with this new catalog. And so um, I'm sharing you lots, sharing with you lots of samples so that um, you can see different cards because everybody has different styles and maybe something will spark you or, or inspire you. And that's my goal. So let's see here. I think I'm fairly straight. I could be off a little bit, but we'll go with it. Okay, so the new catalog, of course, it launched on May um, 4th, so it's only been access for everyone and since May, May 4th, so 25 days old, if you will, and it'll go until May 2nd, 2022, so it's a full year worth of this catalog. So. Um, although we always want all the things when it first starts out, take your time, pace yourself. Um, of course, there is a great starter kit deal right now. So if you have a big wish list and it's at least a, over $100, it's a great time to get the new starter kit because you can pay $99 plus tax, shipping is free, and pick out $155 in product. 
So that is definitely an awesome deal, and that also goes until Monday. So a lot of things are ending on Monday. So pay attention to that. I know it's a three-day weekend for many of us, so hopefully um, we don't miss that opportunity when we close out on Monday. But all right, so let's see. My first thing I wanted to show you was um, on page four of the catalog, and it seems like that's a weird thing to show you, like what the stamps are, like cling mount or photopolymer. But really what I want to show you is at the bottom here. And these are little icons that are placed throughout the catalog that are helpful as you go along. Um, anything that has an N, and it's um, typically going to be in the color, I think it's like a reddish color um, this year. But it has a little N next to the product code or product ordering is... Um, you're going to be indicating a new product. So it's a brand new product with this catalog. Um, so if you're watching, make sure you say hi so I can see who's watching because I have no idea. I am. I see Amy's watching. I saw Candy. Um, but I know people are popping on and off. Hopefully you're enjoying your Saturday morning. Um, the other thing is this little indicator is a reversible stamp. So those are special um, photopolymer stamps that have images on both sides or can be used um, on both sides. This one is a distinctive style, which is a Stampin' Up! exclusive. It gives you a lot of detail in the stamps um, to create um, different opacities when you stamp it one time. The little clock here is Quick and Easy Projects, which I'm a big fan of, Quick and Easy. And then these are available in English or French. Of course, where we're at, most people choose English, but you can accidentally choose French sometimes, so just pay attention to that um, as you go through. All right, here we go. Next page I want to highlight is a favorite. So creativity made easy kits. So if you're new to stamping or the idea of paper crafting, um, we have a new kits program launching on Tuesday, June 1st. And I'm super excited about it. I'll be sharing more about it in the month of June and going forward. But um, we have a new kit kit pro program. It's not even a, it's a program or, um, but... It's not a subscription like Paper Pumpkin. Paper Pumpkin is still available and will be available on a monthly basis or a prepaid subscription choice. So you have two choices for Paper Pumpkin. But then the new kits launch on June 1st and there will be 10 kits to choose from starting in June. Um, they will be while supplies last. So these, paper, uh, these new kits um, by Stampin' Up will be while supplies last and they'll be available. They'll won't, there won't be a brochure or anything for them, but they will be available um, online and you can see what's currently available right now and place your order. And they range from like $12 to $19 for kits. So I think it's a really great value and a great way to have a quick and easy girls night or to just have some fun um, creativity time even if you're not a huge stamper, everything's included, so you don't need to buy any extra supplies. Okay? The next thing I want to share, I'm going to get into the stamping sets and my favorites. So this is one of my favorites, Sweets, is the Beauty of the Earth um, collection. And this is a sleeper stamp set. That's what I call it because the more you see it and until you get it and actually stamp with it, you don't realize the real beauty of these images here and the layering you can do with the actual trees here. Um, also, I really like the greeting choices and the paper is gorgeous. So let me show you a few um, samples that I have gotten with my swaps. So here's one, a more simple one, but um, let me see how, let me see if I can make sure it's not too close up. There we go, I need to bring it back down a little bit. But this is one of the swaps I got, um, I believe, in Maui last week during our swap. Um, we actually just dropped off our bag of swaps, and then when we came back two days later, we picked up a bag of swaps. So they did it for us, um, but this was one I got. And sometimes, yep, this is Michelle Litwiller, and she's a fellow um, demonstrator. I don't remember. I think she's in Wisconsin. Um, but anyway, this is her swap. So when I have a t name on it, I will recognize who was the stamper. Um, but this was her swap. And I, this is what I was talking about. This stamp here, um, when you stamp it one time, and I believe this is just jade is the color she used here, it literally stamps like that, where it's multiple layers um, 
in one stamp in one color so it's a really pretty um, way the stamp goes so that's her swap here's another one and this uses um, the dies and this does have a coordinating die set and it features some of the paper as well Let's see this is Karen Titus I don't know where she's from but I know I actually got to talk to her and her husband they do stamping on the back porch um, for a few moments just casually during the trip this one is from Jennifer Cotton. I did not meet her, but um, she did some wonderful layers here. That's some vellum, some of that pretty gold flecked ribbon there, and then some DSP and kept that cinnamon cider monochromatic. And then she used the smaller tree here on this one. I'm trying to kind of hold the card in different ways so you can see. And then this one I thought was very clever. It's using um, this stamp again but in a totally different way. And this is Darla Watson. She's from California and this is how she used it. So she made it almost look like a heart and put the word love there. So I thought that was very clever to change it up and use this in a different way. So that's kind of cool. All right, so that's first few samples. I got lots more, trust me. All right, I'm just gonna flip around the next one is just a favorite page layout that I wanted to share with you, mostly because I really love these two sets. I don't have either of them yet, but they are high on my wish list when I can fit them in the budget. Um, but I, I just love the scale for some reason. I did see a few cards on display at the um, Maui trip using this, but it wasn't ones I received in my swaps. But I love this, and I love this one too. Now this one coordinates with the warm wraps die which is available again it was part of the holiday catalog offering back in the fall and um, it coordinates with that die set so you can see they they have incorporated back in that using that with um, the little coffee cups but I love just the way they did these colors um, and of course I have the sweet ice cream this is how I mark my book when I have something I highlight it so that I don't duplicate where possible um, but I love this I love this background on this particular sample this is that paper I was telling you about that's part of the hostess offering right now or stamp and rewards offering this is the one that if you um, enter into the door prizes by either sharing the video or sharing this event or tagging people in this video in the comments or filling out my Google form um, I, you're gonna get a sampling of this card uh, this DSP pack so don't miss that opportunity to get some free DSP. That's all I'm saying. Um, and it's open to anyone. You can be a demonstrator. You don't have to be a demonstrator. You can do all of the above, but and you can enter multiple ways. Okay. So I just wanted to share that little layout there. All right, next. I want, oh, I skipped something. I'm not following my, my order here. Let me go back to page 21. Of course, this stamp set is not new, but it is a fave of mine for obvious reasons. And there are a couple of card samples that I got with this from the swap. Um, so I don't know if you can see that shimmer paper in there. Those little flowers are made with the shimmer vellum, which is a really new one. And then this is made with that um, paper that's currently available as part, uh, it was part of the butterfly. Oh no, that's, yeah, that's the um, new butterfly paper there. So that was made by Jennifer Hill. She's a demonstrator in the Southeast region as well. I did see her, but I didn't get a chance to talk with her. And I'm not sure who this one is by, but another one using the Aloha and the Pineapple. So those were part of the die set that coordinate with that one. All right, page 27, I have a few more samples on another sample for that page. I was getting ahead of myself. This of course was launched in the new spring catalog. And that is the Friends Are Like Seashells. Um, and this is made by Esther Boyle and so she used some of the pearlescent paper and did some inking on that as well it's really pretty in person so that's that one and then page 29 of course is featuring the pansies and these are swaps that were from my swap that I did before I went to Maui that are part of a send away swap that I do with the training group. So I'll show you, I have several of these. So this one's the stamped pansies, which I love that 
the the way this set works is you can really build your flowers and do multiple different colors you can do it with the stamps or you can do it with the dies or you can do it both so this one's using the stamps this one's using um, the paper from the the designer series paper they've cut some of those out and layered them together This one's also using the paper and the greeting and with some, a nice label there. Okay. This one again features the paper and just an easy tag um, to feature the greeting there. This one really focuses on the paper as well, but I'd like how they did this cool um, stitched edge there. And I'm not sure which one that's from, but that's a die. Cut uh, die to make that stitch edging there. So that one's a good one. And then this one I'm going to have to take out because it's definitely some kind of fold and I haven't even looked at it yet. Because my swaps get, oh yes, I did. I remember now. This is one of those that folds out like this and then you can stand it up like this. We did look at this one. I remember that now. Now that I opened it up. So that's kind of a cool one to feature the paper and that's stamped and then some layer parts of the leaves there. And again, these were all swaps from, and I didn't tell you all the names. So this was Laura Kowalski. Let me go back and do that. I like to recognize. This was, um, this one was Carol Sanderson. This one was Kim Allen. This is Rhonda Morgan. This one doesn't have a name. <laughs> And this is Jenny Rader. That's the one she did. So, didn't want to miss, miss that opportunity to recognize fellow stampers. All right, let me get back to my tour. Missed a few things, so we went over this. So let's keep flipping. Okay, another favorite of mine is on page 36. Again, I don't have it yet, but it's on my wish list. And that is the Create with Friends stamp set. And again, I just like the way you can pair all these um, words together to create your a personalized greeting and card. So, and you can pair that with any images or paper. That's that's really a cool thing about um, about this stamp set is you don't have to have a specific image or stamp set you're working with. Uh, image or paper you can pick any of them um, and like you like we see here they have the little um, clock sign which means that's a quick and easy card so that's one thing you're going to want to look through um, in the catalog they also give you little hints like this I think this is like put it in your shopping cart reminder and that's where you can find like this embossing folder is it gives you the the page number and the information for that embossing folder that's used on that project so those little hints are all throughout the catalog Okay, let's see what's next. All right, the next thing I want to do is a helpful hint and tip, and that is regarding the Sweet Strawberry stamp set and punch and bundle. This was not available for the stamp set, I mean, sorry, the stamp set's been available the whole time, but the bundle was not and the punch was not. But as of Thursday, I think it was, maybe even Wednesday, the punch is back on, back in. So if you've been waiting to order the strawberry um, stamp set and bundle or the punch by itself, it is now available. So I just wanted to make sure everybody knew that info. All right, next is page 47. I have this one tagged because I love this stamp set and die set. I think there's a ton of things you can do with this. Lots of people have already started showcasing this and all the things you could do with this hat. Um, and I did end up getting one sample from the swaps, and this was from Sandra Reese. Also, I think she goes by Sandy. I didn't meet her, but she also included a fun little um, sticker set inside her swap for us. So isn't that cool? I got some stickers, and I believe this means um, until we meet again, until we meet, something like that. But I thought that was really sweet. And so her card features this um, hats off stamp set. So it's kind of a fun like camouflage. Um, here's to the next adventure. Like I really like that a lot. Um, so I just ordered this uh, myself 
And so I will be using it hopefully in the next coming weeks because of course Father's Day is coming up and that's a great use for that set. Um, but I've seen things with scouts, uh, military already using this stamp set and die set. I've seen things with um, um, making them more feminine, masculine, all over the place. Sports, all that, of course. So that's a really cool, flexible set, in my opinion. All right, let's see. Next thing I'm going to show you is a couple cards featuring um, this stamp set called Inspired Thoughts on page 52. This is the inspiration for a card I made earlier this week. I don't have a name for it. Um, no one, they didn't put their name on it. So, um, but I got this in one of my swaps and it, they just used the greeting here, sending healing thoughts your way. And then they added some punched out um, cardstock in the new in colors. Good morning. This will be, this has, it's recorded. Yes, ma'am. So it'll be available for a replay, Tony. And I'm basically just doing a catalog tour right now. Thank you for joining. Thank you for commenting. So, um, yes, it will be recorded in case you have to pop in and out. You can watch the whole thing and see and fast forward when you need to. Because um, I do, 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 do talk and share a bit. So, the other one is this one, which features the dyes that are part of this set, which are really cool. And they just did kind of a two-tone, not a lot of colors, and then sheltering you with love at a time when words fall short, which I think is a perfect greeting because I have a really hard time with making sympathy cards. So that's a great greeting in my opinion. So on page 52, that's a couple of samples I got. And this was Kate's Crafts. Um, so that's a fun little sample there. All right. Let's see what's next. In my markings. Page 56 is a is a personal fave and it just I just got it in the turtle friends bundle and this is a punch bundle so it has the little turtle punch and then it has the stamp set to coordinate and I ended up getting a sample by Jane Stull when I was in Maui and this is the card she made. So I think that's really fun, great for kids birthdays, but I just think it's a really cute stamp set. And I love the idea of punches of course, so all right, let's move along and keep flipping through. All right, this is one of my next favorites, the whole Sura Peach Suite. Now, this suite was not available on pre-order as a demonstrator. Um, so it was, but it was the very first thing I bought when I could buy from the whole catalog on May 4th this year. So I love everything about this. We are actually featuring this in our upcoming bingo night, which there is still time to sign up. We have that open until Tuesday, which is June 1st. You can still sign up. Um, yesterday's deadline was to get that extra door prize. So if you paid by yesterday, which several of you did, you got an extra door prize ticket by paying by Friday. But if you still wanna sign up for bingo night, it is on June 11th. It is a Zoom bingo event. Um, but we're featuring this stamp set and these papers, and um, this is our theme for our projects for our Stampin' Bingo Night. And, um, you know, I just love everything about this. It's very timely for summer. Of course, it's going to be peach season here in the southeast mid-Atlantic, and so this is perfect. I do want to show you, I do have a set of these jars. They're not decorated yet, but I do want to show you those real quick. The, the jars, if you buy the entire suite for $57.25, you get the stamp set and the dies. So you get that bundle. You get the designer cherry paper, and you get a set of the mini jam jars. And they come like this in a, in a box. They are food safe. I did buy the entire peach suite, too. That was, the very, like I said, the very first suite I bought on the first part of May when it went live. But these jars, you get six in here they're um they come in the suite so if you buy the whole thing you're going to get them automatically but you can buy them by themselves too the pack of six it's nine dollars so they're a little bit more expensive but they're super cute um and they are plastic and then they've got the little metal lid that you can easily decorate you can see a couple of ways they've decorated here but these are super cute um favors um for all kinds of things i've seen people already 
decorating them different ways and putting little reusable or, you know, electric battery operated tea lights in there. Um, all kinds of fun ideas with these are popping out all over the place. So, but these little jars are super cute. And so if you've got like a little party, these would be great for place setting. Um, but I can't wait to work with them. We're not using them on bingo because it's a little bit hard to use these in a class to go kind of format, but they are really cute. The other thing I want to point out on this page is throughout the catalog, you'll see these little color swatches. And I am loving this because it gives you a quick way to color coordinate. If you have the designer paper, um, this also should, they usually are using these colors in your samples, like the, the things they've stamped there. Um, or, and if there's a coordinating designer paper, that's usually the colors that are in the paper. So it's a quick way to know, do I need these inks? Do I have all these inks? Do I have this cardstock color? Um, that's a quick Quick way there, so another tip and trick there. So let me show you some samples I got. This is Laura Mellinger, Mellinger, she's from Iowa. And this is her card from Maui. She, I, I don't know if you can see it in there, but she stamped on that linen paper, which is a new paper style. It's not really paper, but it's a linen type paper. It is really cool on this peach, I did not, even realize that until I just looked at it right now. So I love that she did that and she's got a little shimmer and shine so she must have put some Wink of Stella on there too. But that's super cute. I love all the different layers she did there. This one is my friend Colleen's. This was her swap for uh, Maui as well and she used the, the other one of the stamps out of here. I have a lot of peach stamp uh, samples by the way. Here's one from Ruth Bingle. And that's her swap. It is a fun fold. Let me open that up. We got to see this fun fold, right? Um, hang tight. Let me get it open. I was trying to see if there was another comment I needed to acknowledge. Oh, yeah, this is one of those. Oh, look, and she even put some more paper inside. So fun way to showcase a bunch of, bunch of the papers and neat a die there. I'm not sure which one that is. That looks like a newer one. Cute, cute. So like I said, we are using the peach stuff for our um, bingo night. This is done by Melissa Ellis from the Maui trip, and she's also a local demonstrator. She is Colleen as part of her team, the Inky Angels, so that's hers. Fun fold there. Some bling on it. All right, moving right along. Page 63, another stamp set I feel like is a sleeper is Biggest Wish on page 63. Again, just some words, but I've seen some fabulous things being made with this set here. I also really like this set. It's one of those that's kind of small and it's kind of tucked away in the middle there. But I think once people get their hands on this, they're gonna really like this one too. It's a little bit different, but I love, like this sample here really speaks to me. Um, but this set here, again, you don't need any specific images. You just use the words and maybe some pretty papers, or you can pair it with some other images and it really, it, the size of the words are very nice. And you can pair things together like hello friend or hello friend, um, you know, thanks friend. You could do all kinds of things. Happy birthday, happy, happy birthday, happy birthday, birthday. So all kinds of choices there. Hello, I see a couple more people are joining, popping on and off. So I am gonna pause for a moment before I flip to the next page and just remind you that I am doing door prizes today and the door prizes are going to be um, if you share this video or share this event, um, just make sure you, I know you shared it. Um, if you tag someone in the comments of this video, you're going to get an entry. And for everything you do, you're going to get an entry. Also, I have added an event, a document, my Google um, document that's a form for filling out for door prizes. All I need is your email and your name so that I can make sure I get you your door prize. But the door prize is going to be a DSP sampling of the new host exclusive um, designer series paper and I'll show you that in a minute we're almost to there all right 
page 65. Um, Happy Birthday Chick is still available in the new catalog along with the coordinating dies. And here's a fun sample that I got. This is Sandra Hernandez. She's from Georgia. And this was at my on the Maui swap on the Maui swap as well. I love how she did the tie dye effect, the rainbow colors on the spiral stamp back there in the background as well. So that's a sleeper too, is that that spiral stamp. But I love that, so colorful and bright and cheerful. Um, so that's a cute one. So this one, the ha Happy Birthday Chick, is in the new catalog, but the Hey Chick one, the original one. It's only available until June 30th. So make sure you get your hands on the original Hey Chick if you wanted that one and the coordinating dies with that. And did you notice she wrote hippie birthday, not happy birthday? Isn't that fun? <laughs> so clever. Okay, next, rolling on. Page 67, Party Puffins. Um, you know, one of those cute little sets that is just a lot of fun. Um, great for kids, but really anybody. So this is one that came from um, the swap I did before I left by Rhonda Morgan. And I have to pull this out and show it to you because it's quite clever. But I love how she paired, again, this is some of that paper from that paper pack that I'm doing for the door prize. This is some of the pieces of it. There's lots of pieces to it. But look what she did. She put a 3x3 three three envelope on the front of the card, so you still have an actual card to write in and then she just adhered the three by three envelope right there on the front with some designer paper she added some ribbon i just i love everything about this card and then this little secret note inside of course this would be perfect for a gift card as well to gift someone a gift card and give them a card all in one um, but i love everything about this and i don't have this puffin set but i think i'm gonna have to get it i've just resolved that i'm gonna have to get it so I was telling you about Melissa Ellis, who lives locally, and, and Colleen, who is one of my really good Stampin' Buddies. She and I work together a lot for our teams. Um, she, I went to Melissa's house um, a couple weeks ago before the trip, and we did like a shoebox swap. And this, is, this was her card she made with the puffin and that spiral die and all the new end colors. So it paired so many fun things together um, for that. And then inside, check this out, it's a little pop-up. Isn't that cute? So this was done by Melissa, and um, I went to a shoebox swap at her house a couple weeks ago. So I just love that. Again, as soon as I made this card, I started falling in love with it, and then I'm seeing more and more samples with this puffin. Had no intention of get it, getting it, and of course now, I have to have it. So that's how it happens, right? You start seeing things. Okay, moving right along. Page 69, this is another really nice suite of products. Again, remember you've got your thumbnails here of the coordinating colors. Also, don't forget you've got the whole suite here, which usually includes the stamp set and either the coordinating puncher dies, the designer paper, and usually one other thing. So um, this actually has trim with it. So some of the um, pretty um, gold and silver, I think it's gold and silver, it could be bronze, but um, cord like trim cord so it doesn't have like an embossing folder or things like that but it has an accessory as, as well so the stamp set is always featured and then they also show you the bundle pricing at the bottom and then there's a page reference so you can go and see um, that as well and I'll show you that towards the back I have several samples with this and the range of this has really surprised me because of course some people stick with the color theme here and stick with those colors and using the designer paper this one doesn't have a name but i thought that was really pretty they took this punch and kind of separated it out so made it longer you on this sample so it's not as stubby if you will as the original punch and they were able to piece together and make it a longer style um, tag there but i think that's so elegant and pretty next is this one Again, changing up the colors really changes the way this looks. So this is using this flower here and the birthday stamp in the set and then this border stamp. I love the color combination of this card a lot. And this was done by Betsy Kreider and that came from my swaps in Maui. 
This one is Sharon Jacobs. And again, she stuck with the colors of the suite. So she kind of stuck with that. Just some simple stamping. I think this one came from the swap I did before. And then Diane Alberts also stuck with the colors there. Yes, this lengthening the punch when it was extended is very cool. So, and this one's nice too with the happy anniversary. So sometimes we need those anniversary cards to share. And she did some texture in the background with an embossing folder and some um, splattering, if you will, of some ink. Okay. <clears throat> I'm going to take a sip of my coffee because my throat is starting to tickle from talking so much. Um, so give me just a second and then we'll flip the page. <clears throat> okay. Page, that's not the page I wanted. This is the page I wanted, page 72. Again, another set that like you might miss. All these words, they're little teeny ones that you could easily stack and build on your card, punch out quick and easy. This also, this page here dis is some of the distinctive stamps, which is also marked on the catalog with that little emblem. But it kind of shows you some samples of that and how they kind of give you the different textures when you stamp them. So, um, so I just wanted to share that little thing. But this is one of my favorites because of all the greetings and some of the things they say. Like, I love you no matter what. Um, that's one of my favorites. Praying for blankets of healing around you and yours. Again, I have a hard time with sympathy, so that's a great one. Um, may your comeback be stronger than your setback. That's always a good saying. Um, so what else did I like in here? Oh, sending you this paper hug. Like, those are some fun little greetings to include. So, all right, I don't want to skip some samples. All right, I've got one sample, and there's no name on it, so it's, but it's using this stamp here, and then some of the, um, die cut images from or die cut flowers from this um, set so always in my heart on page 74 so that's really pretty then she's using some of the new um, polished pink colors there with some other pinks and things to really kind of blend all those pinks together so that's kind of a fun one very girly in my opinion with all the pinks and then this page here, Shaded Summer, this is one of those that, like, I keep looking at. I keep going back to, and then I got, I got a sample, just one, and I really like how they did it with um, Shelly Godby. This was from the Swaps in Maui, and she embossed it in, it looks like white, but I think there's some shimmer in there. So she embossed this part here and then added color around it. Um, I'm not even sure how she added that color. It looks like it could have been brushed on, like with a watercolor brush. Um, it's not like it's stamped. Um, it's not sponged, so I'm really not 100% sure. But I love the Hello You. I love that little saying. I like the fonts of this one. So I think this one's a sleeper as well. Um, but yeah, very nice. Good colors. This is the new um, Fresh Freesia and Soft Succulent. So those pair nicely together. Okay, let's see, page 78 is the next one. Flowers of Friendship Bundle. Um, I will just share, anytime you see an MB written in there, that means my friend Michelle has this set because we tend to share things. And so we don't always get the same thing so that we can expand our inventory together. So um, that's what that means. But I have quite a few samples with this. I have a couple, I shouldn't say quite a few, but I have a couple with this one. And I'll show you a few that we've done. Hold on just a moment. Okay, so, so here is one of the samples I got, and this is Susie Barnes. This was this is one of the smaller note cards, but I love she took this stamp and stamped it in rows and then colored them all in um with some different colors so i love how she did that i just love it um little card big thanks uh, again i like that the way these greetings are written and then michelle made this sample when we did our stamp camp this was one of our cards for our stamp camp at the beginning of may before i went to maui so this is using the stamp here and then the flowers and then the pay uh, some different paper from the pansy pack and the punch of course so cute little card there 
And so Michelle made that for our stamp camp. Moving right along, let's see here. So this is another one of my favorite suites. Again, wasn't one of my, on the top of my list, but at the beginning of the catalog, but it is quickly growing on me. And I will just mention that the more you see this, you will definitely love it. And that I see Vicki's here. Good morning, Vicki, perfect timing. You're working on some swaps, excellent. Um, we have just decided as of yesterday that in July, we're going to feature this suite of products in our class to go. So if you want a reason to buy that, that's when we're doing it is in July. So it's like a month, a little over a month away. Um, but we're going to be featuring these products in our class to go for July. Vicki and I pair together at least once a quarter and do a class to go. So this will be our July class to go featuring this. And again, I'm highlighting the colors um, in the suite that are in the paper. Um, I am excited about it too. I've started saving ideas just to give me some inspiration. Um, I didn't get any card samples with this in the swaps, but I took some pictures of swaps that were displayed that featured this. And this is a really fun set. The die set is really nice. There's an embossing folder that's not part of the suite, but it's a macrame embossing folder that's really fun. And then of course the DSP is awesome for this set. So hang tight for that one. All right, let's see what else we got. I wanted to show you on, what did I want to show you? Oh, it's on the next page. Um, I wanted to show you this section because they do have a small holiday section. At the big top of each page, it kind of shows you the different categories of the section you're in. So the holidays begins on page 88 and continues on and several of them are new. So like this is a new stamp set and die set, this tidings and trimmings. There's also a new DSP and here's the colors. So you can get the whole suite here and it also includes a ribbon, this chevron ribbon and the new evening evergreen. So this is a fun new Christmas set. Of course, the holiday catalog is not launching to customers until August. So like August 2nd or 3rd or somewhere around there is when it launches. If you're a demonstrator or want to be a demonstrator, you can get your hands on the new holiday catalog um, items in July. Um, and I will just share with you one of my favorite gifts of the Maui trip was my copy of the new holiday catalog. So I can't show you the inside, but I will tell you my wish list for this is huge. Thank the Lord. It doesn't go into effect until July for demonstrators and August for customers because I need to plan my budget. So I will just say that out loud and confess that information. So um, more to come on this in July, August. I will be doing a Christmas in July class as well. Um, so those that are local here, um, that will be a class that is going to be fun, hopefully, Christmas in July. And I will probably feature new stuff out of here and maybe a little something about the mini catalog. But this has some sets that are new. Like I said, this is a new large stamp and then some that are repeaters or, or returning favorites from previous holiday catalogs. This is a new Evergreen Elegance. This has a fun little um, punch that includes this little row of trees. Can't wait to get my hands on that. Um, poinsettias are back, perfectly plaid, snowman season. These are all returning, nothing new here. But, and then this one's kind of multi-season. Michelle and I both are back and forth on who's going to buy this one. But I think we're going to see some really cool things with this one. So this one on page 94, the Seasons Blessings Bundle, it can go multi-season. So you've got thankful for all that you do. May your day be filled with good things, wishing you well. But then the florals and foliage in it are very multi-seasonal. So you can do fall, you could do spring, you could do Christmas. And that shows you some good samples of that up there. So again, every time you look through this catalog, you're going to see new things. So I love Christmas in July as well. That's something I've done for the last couple of years. And I just love doing those classes because it kind of gets you like in the spirit. I put Christmas music on. I usually try and have some different food, snacks. Um, you love the tidings of Christmas. You got the whole suite. You've already done it. Look at you. Candy's already got the Christmas of tidings suite. That's the one back here on page 88. You already did it. Yeah, I have not done that one yet. I, it's on my list, but I have to like time myself and pace myself. So, <laughs> ah, that's funny. 
but I love it. Um, let's see. Let's keep moving on. This is another one that's kind of my favorites that again, when you look at this page, you might just pass on by, but this set here, I'm starting to see a lot of really cool cards with, and it just speaks to me, of course, love you to the moon and back. I don't really say that to my kids often, but we say other things and that just kind of, um, I don't know, I just love that saying. And then more thanks than stars in the sky, like that's a really cool one, always reach for the stars. And then of course, the congratulations, those enjoy. I love everything about this set. Also this one, I think this one, once more people get their hands on it, we're gonna see some creative things with this one, the watercolor shape. So I'm just waiting for people to say, oh my gosh, I didn't even know that stamp set was in there. Um, you know, I just love that. Um, this one also is a distinctive and so is this one. So they're both marked with that little um, type of stamp that it is. Now also you'll see these little, little um, color swatches throughout the catalog. Um, and these color swatches aren't necessarily a pack of paper color swatch, but they're the color swatch for these cards here. So it kind of shows you what colors they use there. Um, what is it? The versatile watercolor shape stamp set can be used as a base for creating focal points and backgrounds. Exactly. That's, that's like a little tip there. Anytime they have the little thumbnail thumbtack there that gives you a tip. So those are three out throughout the catalog. I haven't even read all of those tips. And this is the artistic expressions section, which again, those are the ones tend, people tend to like take them and do totally different things with. Those that have that kind of creative mind. That is not my mind. I am a copy and share kind of girl. Um, I'm a simple stamper. Sometimes I, I whip up a good one, but uh, usually I'm more along the lines of sticking with what it was meant to do. So, um, but I love seeing the creativity. Candy says she's already seen awesome cards with these two sets. I know, I'm telling you, more people get these their hands on these, they're going to see some awesome, awesome things. So, all right, page 105, I want to show you this hand-penned suite, of course, is just beautiful. I have already used it several times. I'm going to show you some samples that I've gotten and then some things I've done. So um, let's see. This is one card. I got this on the, um, I can't remember if this was from Maui or from my before the Maui trip sweet, uh, swap, but this is Margaret Van Vliet. I think this was from Maui, but look at that pretty ribbon right there. The uh, gorgeous grape. I think it's gorgeous great. Maybe it's Highland Heather. Anyway, it's like a shimmery ribbon if you haven't gotten that one yet. It's really pretty in person. It's a wider ribbon. There's this one, which I'm going to have to open up because, you know, it's a fancy fold. I can tell from the outside. So it's like this. Oh, and, and she put her name inside, Kathy Davis. I think this was from Maui as well. So some pretty layering there using the paper. I like how she did that little strip there along that edge just to give some interest on the inside. Sometimes they do put their name on the inside. Sometimes they don't. And then another one is from Cheryl Lentz. And she also used, I always keep holding this sideways, but she used the misty moonlight in the background there, which I love. Um, and then the new, one of the new ribbons in the um, soft succulent so really pretty there. Show you a couple more that I've done or we've done. Um, let's see. This is one that we did for our team, Better Your Best. Colleen did this design. So it's got some shimmer and shine on it, but just stamping. You didn't have to use the dies or anything. That's a bookend fold. So a fun one there. Mm, that's all I have. I thought I had more, but I don't. Okay. Oh, wait. I'll show you that in a minute. Okay. Keep you in suspense. So, again, tips and tricks. Watch for your little symbols there. They have a Memories and More card pack that coordinates with this one. There's a bundle. There's a suite. There's colors all over the place. All kinds of information in these books. So, keep them handy. All right, Butterfly Brilliance. Um, this one was available as a pre-order um, 
earlier in the spring and now it's available all year and there is a bundle so this is one giant stamp if you haven't gotten this or seen it it is one giant stamp so it's like you know as big as the biggest block we have and using this with the stamp apparatus is definitely the way to go because it's so hard to maneuver uh, I have seen people have taken this stamp and cut it into individual butterflies so that they have all those um, all six of those butterflies individual there's also dies that coordinate so there is a bundle option and the dies one of them is the full thing all together and then there are also more detailed butterflies with um, on, dies as well as part of that set now I did use this for one of our cards at our stamp camp and that's what it is on the background there so we paired it with the new in colors this greeting is from the very first stamp set I showed you the um, what's it called beauty of friendship stamp set and then I paired it with a brand new ribbon in the pale papaya this is like a woven ribbon and we stamped it in the background there that's the one giant stamp stamped in um, smoky slate so it's kind of a fun way to utilize that stamp and we got to play with the stamp apparatus too so it all worked out okay one I just got in the mail is this one and I had no intention of buying it but I've seen some really fun samples with it and so yeah just got that one in the mail yesterday uh, Daisy Garden this is also a giant stamp so it is like full card front size stamp so again either you need the really big block or a stamp apparatus to kind of handle this one but I've seen some really cute samples with this Daisy Garden stamp as well I haven't gotten it yet because it's not marked in purple and I haven't even marked this yet because I just got the package open uh, last night so all right I'm gonna show you page 110 I also just got this in the mail and again I had no intention of buying it because the stamps to me weren't really speaking to me but what has spoken to me is the way people are using these dies this quiet meadow bundle and this is one sample of it for, that I got from Maui this is from Carmen Broxma um, I'm not sure where she's from but these dies are great for making like silhouettes so um, there are pieces here and pieces there and you can piece everything together but I love how she pieced this together and um, she didn't even use any of the greetings for this she just you really use the dies and then the other die to create this this um, pattern on the front and just the pink black and white love it and it's simple it's just using a lot of the die cut pieces from this quiet meadow bundle die set so excellent okay let me take another sip and then I'm gonna finish the catalog tour and then take a quick break and then pop back on for some stamping okay but I am almost done with the catalog tour so if you've joined in since I started at the beginning I have a couple things going on you're welcome to enter into the door prizes you can either share this video or event on Facebook you can tag someone in the video comments and you can also fill out my Google Doc um, door prize form it just requires your name and email that's it there's a couple other questions that are optional but any and all of those things for everyone you do you're gonna get an entry into the door prize form I'm about to show you what the door prize is gonna be but it's gonna be a DSP sampling so let me show you a couple more hints so this is the area besides those two I just showed you the daisy and the butterfly there's also some large background stamps here this spiral die one is the newest one so again these are gonna need the very large block the largest block we sell or the stamp apparatus so um, but this spiral die I've seen so many cute things with this again I did not really want it, it was not on my list but now it is so there you go <laughs> just like I said at the beginning the more samples you see the more things that people share online with these new products the more you're gonna your wish list is gonna grow so keep that in mind if you're if you're not a discount shopper or happy shopper or demonstrator because you can start getting a discount by joining and buying the starter kit and right now until Monday there's a great deal on it if you have a wish list more than a hundred dollars then you might want to consider it because between now and Monday night if you get the starter kit you can choose hundred and fifty five dollars in product of anything you want and only pay ninety nine dollars plus tax so it's a, a phenomenal deal so 
All right, so the next section, of course, is, is all of the fun accessories and more. So I wanted to mention on page 122, this is where all your color collections are going to be. Um, you've got your brights, neutrals, regals, subtles, and basics, and then your in colors, your two sets. So these are the newest set of in colors here, and this is the one that returned. It's got one more year left. So these are our five new in colors. So um, don't forget that I also have an ordering special today, and your ordering special is going to be um, four card packets for $35 order or more, plus you're going to get an in color bookmark. Um, I will send you all the parts and you'll just um, adhere it all together. So that'll be one thing. So that's showing you the new five in colors. Fresh Freesia, Polished Pink, Evening Evergreen, Soft Succulent, and Pale Papaya. So I'm loving these new in colors. The more, I think a lot of people have commented this is their favorite grouping in a really long time of in colors. So it is going to be a fun two years with these, I can imagine. Um, what else was I going to show you? And then if you do a $50 order or more, you're going to get the four card packets plus the bookmark plus your choice of one of these two gems. So I'll go over that again at the end when I do my stamping. But these are where you're going to get your card stocks, um, individual packets of the colors. You're going to get your ink pads, your refills, and your blends if they're available, Stampin' Blends. So sometimes you'll have a dash mark. That means they, they don't have Stampin' Blends in that particular color. Um, and then, of course, you've got your basics, like your basic white and black. Um, you've got some other color options there, and then your ink colors there. I'm just going to flip through a couple pages real quick. I'm not going to talk about everything. I do want to mention on page 126, if you're looking for an assorted pack of something, this is where you would come for that. So page 126 is going to give you your assorted card stock in either 8.5 by 11 or 12 by 12. Your bundles of stamp pads. So if you wanted to get the entire Brights collection, you're going to order it with this number. Your entire ink refill collection. So if you wanted like all the Regals ink refills, you would order that here. And then the Stampin' Right markers. These are not the blends. These are the markers. So not the alcohol base, but the regular markers. That's where you would order these. And same down here with the in colors. The only thing they don't have is they don't have the ink refill bundles for the in colors. So, but they have the sorted paper, the either an eight and a half by eleven or twelve by twelve, and then they have the ink pads and then the in color marker or the in color markers for each grouping. They also have a brand new pastels assortment. Haven't gotten it yet. Um, that's I am not the most artistic. Some of y'all know us. I'm not a big coloring person, but. I, I'm sure we'll see some fabulous things with the new pastels. And then this is our Memories and More section. You've got a couple, um, two different Memories and More card packs there, and then some Memories and More cards and envelopes um, this year. Some different tools and things, um, coloring tools. The designer paper starts on page 130, so if you're wanting to see a swatch, of the new designer series papers, this is where you're going to want, you're going to, want to turn. It's page 130, 131, 132, 133, and then 134. So this is where all your designer series paper is. And then you've got some specialty papers. Um, let's see here. Yep, some different. I was showing you the um, the vellum that the person used on the one of the cards. That's this in color shimmer vellum right there. <clears throat> then these are some specialty papers. So you've got your basics up top, but then like the window sheets or the watercolor paper, the vellum, shimmery white, and then your envelopes. This is that linen paper that I was talking about that that, that sample had with the peach on it. So that is where the linen paper is on page 136. Then you've got some packaging options. I will show you, this is the brand new ombre bag. It comes in the five different in colors. You get four of each color, so you get 20 bags for $6. It is really a great deal. Um, we use this as one of our favor bags, and it's kind of an ombre effect on the bags, but they're, you know, a good size little bag. Things like dimensionals tuck in there, something, a, a little small gift or candies. Um, we made a little tag to coordinate, and then we had a clip from the mini catalog, the, the spring mini, to kind of adhere it all together, keep it closed. And that's one of the new ribbons in the Fresh Freesia. So all very color coordinated and nice. Um, let's see. 
but there's other packaging including those little jars I showed you that go with the peach uh, sweet and the mini coffee cups are back in case you want to use those coming up this um, with this catalog and things like that then you've got all your ribbons and trim starting on page 139 I like how they laid these out a little bit more this year so you can kind of see the ribbons a little better. Just pay attention because sometimes you'll have multiple colors available in that one ribbon. So you'll have different numbers for the color that you want. And there's a second page here as well. Then you've got some embellishments. I will show you some of these real quick. I just got these in these loose flower flourishes. And these are in um, three of the new ink colors. Fresh Freesia, Pale Papaya, and Polished Pink. And they come in a little container but they're really cute you would need an adhesive to adhere them on but some of them are so cute and tiny look how fun they are so you can kind of see how big they are inside there in the three colors and a good assortment i do love the new catalog layout i'm with you there much better to see some of these things so that's the loose flourishes um then all your other embellishments are here i will also show you so i've shown you Number one and number two, these are the one, the two that if you order a $50 order or more using my hostess code between now and Monday, your $50 order or more will include the four card packets, the in color bookmark, and then your choice of one of these two genial gems or elegant faceted gems. So you get to choose one of those two. So that's a free little gift worth between $7.50 and $8, whichever one. These are a new pack and these are a returning pack. So this is the host code and my website if you want to place an order. And of course, if you don't have a catalog, there is an online catalog. I also want to show you these fun little square um, gems. These are not one of the free offerings this day, but um, these are in the current in color. So that I just want to show you those, how they sparkle. So they're kind of fun. I just got these in, so I like those. But they've got the Bumblebee, Cinnamon Cider, Magenta Madness, Misty Moonlight, and Just Jade. All right, and then you've got your other things. Again, many of them are marked with a little N to indicate that they're a new item. But then a lot of them are returning or came, came over from the mini catalog. You've got the Stamparatus, some stampin' tools, including these blocks that we were talking about earlier, your cleaning pad, um, or cleaning pads there's a couple choices grid paper punches um, again this is a great place to look for samples that you may not have thought of because back here with the punches the new punch bundles um, or, um, they're going to show you another card sample with them so that's kind of fun there's a couple here and then these are punches that are not bundled anymore they're just independent punches same on this page you've got your cutting um, tools on the next couple pages and then we move into, of course, the stamp and cut and emboss machines. I will confess, I just got my first one of these while I was gone. Um, I ordered the mini one. Um, I found a reason to have one because I've been trying to hold off on spending the money for them. Again, trying to keep my budget in mind. Um, I will eventually get the big one too, the regular size one. But I went ahead and got the mini one and it just came in yesterday and I'm excited to break it out and use it so maybe you'll see that soon but these are where you'll find all your plates and um, things for your stamp and cut and emboss machines both the regular and mini and then of course all your embossing folders here's that macrame one I was talking about that's part of that suite with the plants um, and there's a couple things in here that I hadn't noticed before like this thanks and hello these are two different embossing folders they're the mini ones that go through the mini machine so is this wintry one um, so there's a lot of things to see here that you may not have seen in the catalog then you've got the die bundles and much like the punch bundles they're gonna show you more samples for the new bundles so they're gonna show you the die set it is um, in order of the way the bundle is named so it's alphabetical by the way the bundle is named so not necessarily the stamp set and not necessarily the die set name but the way the bundle is named so it took me a minute to figure all that out but there's you can see a little thumbnail of the dies you can see the bundle pricing the die pricing by itself and of course the new card sample and then there's a reference for the page that the stamp set is on so there's a couple there there's two full pages here 
So lots of fun things here. Two more full pages here. And then we get to dies that aren't part of a bundle offering anymore. So they're just buying them on their own. But there still are some new ones in here, like this layering diorama and give it a whirl, flower market. They're not part of a bundle, this basic borders. That's the one I keep seeing and I didn't know where it was from. So there you go. I haven't gotten that. I guess I'm going to have to put that on my wish list because people have been using it like crazy. Um, but there's lots in here. What made me decide to order the mini? So um, the reason is because sometimes at class we have multiple things going and big shotting or die cutting. Um, and the past few months, I really have been doing most of it myself because I wanted to just keep people at their seats in class. But the mini gives me another another one and it wasn't so much money. And also, um, it's something that if I wanted to show online a little easier, it's more compact and I can do it right here on my tabletop versus the big, the big one. So that's why I went with the mini for now. Like I said, I eventually will get the regular size one, um, but for now I'm gonna, I got the mini. So that's my reasoning. <laughs> that's a good question. Um, all right, couple more here. Again, this picture, this is a new one that's not featured, so is the stitched greenery. Um, yeah, tailor-made tags. Also another one, that's the one we use to make this little tag set here. So that is what we use to make the tags for this little bag, for that treat bag. <clears throat> and adhesives, page 167, we're always trying to find that page. I always try and find the adhesive page because I never write all the numbers down like I should. But, um, that's where you find all your adhesives. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was the host reward, Stampin' Rewards area. And these are your reward levels, starting at the $150 sales mark for parties or individual orders, if you are so inclined. Um, but these three stamp sets are all exclusive for host rewards. So you cannot buy these outright but they give them to you at a discounted price for your hostess um, rewards. So you would use your Stampin' Rewards dollars to buy these stamp sets. There's also this party pack of paper called Pattern Party, and it's 12 by 12 DSP. And this is the one that I'm gonna use as my door prizes for today's virtual catalog launch. So if you have just joined us, a couple ways you can enter is number one, share this video and event to Facebook or whatever, share it, and you'll be entered into the door prize drawing. I'm gonna give away a couple of these, um, but you're gonna get a sampling of all this paper, and there's um, 12 different double-sided designs, so lots of paper there. And um, the other way to enter is to tag someone in the video comments. So just type in someone's name and tag them. If there's someone that does not have a um, public profile, I think it is, then it may not work, but just do your best. I will give you credit for every try you make to tag someone in the video or share the video. And then I also have a Google um, form that you can use to enter for my door prize drawing. And that would just be to provide your name and email. And then um, basically that would get into the door prize drawing as well. And if you do multiple of those, you're going to get multiple entries. So I'm going to announce the door prize winners on Tuesday the 1st, um, mostly because that's when I'm kind of closing out this order. Um, again, this order is through the 31st. And if you place a $35 or order or more, you're going to get four card packets. And I'm going to highlight that in my next video after I take my break. Um, highlight those four card packets and you're also going to get an in color bookmark with your $35 order and if you do a $50 order you're going to get the four card packets the in color bookmark and your choice of one of these gem packets not these particular ones you're going to get a brand new one not one that's partially used but you get your choice of either the genial gems or the elegant faceted gems as part of your thank you gift for your order so i think that's a wrap for my catalog launch, don't forget at the back, you do have an index of stamp sets alphabetically and then an accessory index. I do love how they show you some of the in colors there. And then, 
you know, Stampin' Up! is always doing something to help make a difference in the world. So we have different ways we do that um, through philanthropy. And so, yeah, that's my annual catalog kickoff party. And I will be coming back. What time is it now? It's a little after 11. So I am going to come back at 11.20. So I need about 15 minutes to just clear my throat and come back. And I'm going to do two quick cards that I'm going to show you. And then I'm going to talk a little bit more. And then I'm wrapped up for the day. So about 11.20 and I should be done. But I'm going to cut this video and then start over again in about um, 15, 20 minutes. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye-bye.